Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 3, the beta. Uh, again, as normal, we kind of start to freeze up for a moment as we load the game. But uh, we've got our new TSS Cutter Mark IV that's uh, moving out here to explore some new areas of the galaxy. These things have got a pretty good range on them, so... Uh, we're going to continue to build a few more of those, I think. And, well, at least we're going to build one more, then we'll build a, a couple of the constructors. Hopefully, we will actually locate another uh, usable planet before too long. Um, I may go ahead and send a constructor right up here probably I don't know up here would also be a a decent location to uh, send a constructor now well, we'll have to think about it uh, let's see let's go ahead and end our turn we are currently working on environmental engineering which will let us uh open up some new tiles here maybe probably this one right here is going to be our number one choice we have an idle colony let's check that out we've got a research center up there we've already got a xeno farm let's uh let's put a solar power plant down right there And I guess we'll go ahead and throw down another basic factory. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and put down a missionary center as well. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. So we've got this star base here that's doing its little thing. We've got one more turn on environmental engineering. Let's go ahead and check out diplomacy again. Uh, they are... N hmm. It looks like our situation with them is actually improving. Well, our situation with them is going down. All right, we have a skill in diplomacy. We have opposing ideologies, really? Are these guys malevolent? I would have thought that these guys would not be malevolent. But apparently they are. Well, we have shared borders and we have a ship in their zone of uh, control without an open border. Hmm. Well, hopefully we won't have a weaker military than these guys for too much longer anyways. Well, we have our ships running around in their zone of control, which is not really good. Looks like we only have one of them in their zone of control, though. He'll probably be out of there before too long. I would like to be able to colonize these frozen worlds soon as well. Which, uh, environmental engineering is a step in that direction, so... As soon as that finishes, I'm going to go back to Earth, and we are going to open a uh, new tile. I think, uh, soil... Oh, crap! That wasn't what we wanted. Cancel that. We want soil enrichment right there. That will allow us to take advantage of both the manufacturing capital and the solar power plant. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can finish there. And we need to select a new research. Environmental engineering. Our ability to improve and enhance the environment we work in will provide benefits to almost every aspect of colonization and makes walks 
in the outdoors a little less deadly. Okay. Uh, population enhancement. Environmental economics. That's the one we want. Let's go for... Increases the manufacturing adjacency terrain effects. Uh, increases research adjacency terrain effects. Increases economic... Let's go for manufacturing. And we have an idle ship. This is the uh, new cutter that we've just built. We'll go ahead and have him explore. And we got a few uh, things that are going to be coming up now. We actually have an empty queue at Titan 6. I think we're going to go ahead and plop down a solar power plant there. And I think a basic factory. We've already got a consulate and a missionary center. I think here we're going to build... a research laboratory and a coordination center, maybe. I suppose so. Alright, that's gonna be the plan anyways. And we have 14 income per turn still, so we're not doing terribly bad. Lifting the fog! We just gained a uh, plus 25% sensor range to all ships in our fleet. Titan 6-4, the queue is empty. Let's go ahead and do that uh, coordination center right there. We've already got a farm. Uh, let's see. Perhaps the Colonial Hospital might be good. And... I don't know, we'll figure out where we want to do the soil enhancement later. Possibly right here, so we can take advantage of the Coordination Center. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That'll work out, I hope. And we have an idle ship. Which ship is idle? He doesn't look idle. Ah, there's the idle ship. Okay. We're already mining there. I think up here is probably going to be a good location. Would give us access to both dur uh, durantium and some illyrium. And we shall go ahead and end our turn. Actually over here we have an ascension crystal. I'll tell you what, let's go for that Ascension Crystal instead. I think right there he may be able to take advantage of both the Ascension Crystal and the Antimatter. Alright, so we have an Idle Colony. We've got the Mega Factory, we have a Research. Let's go for some food. And... Ah, screw it. Let's just do some more food. Alright, what are we going to do in Earth here? I believe we're going to plop down another basic factory right there. And we have two turns remaining on the environmental manufacturing. Currently, Earth is producing 
82.3. That should go up as soon as the uh, Xeno factory is complete. Let's, uh... Go for a couple more constructors there. And where do we want to send this? Let's go ahead and send him down there so he can upgrade that star base that's going to be mining the ascension crystal. So Earth is at 91.3. That's about to go up again. Xeno factory will be done and the environmental manufacturing. So that's at 97 now. We are definitely seeing that improve by a pretty good bit. Environmental manufacturing. By tweaking our environmental modification to accommodate the high energy and resource demands of the manufacturing sector, we expect to see improved production and less environment. Okay then. We could do Xeno Commerce. Uh, orbital specialization. That would improve our military manufacturing. Let's do that. That's going to take three turns. It's not terribly bad. Let's advance that. We got, uh, what is this? Okay, plus 25% to our research in skilled starship construction. That's good. So now we'll actually have that on the next turn. And I think we're going to send that constructor down there as well. Looks like our influence is spreading fairly nicely here as well. Let's go ahead and speed along. Hopefully these cutters up here are going to discover a nice planet that we can colonize before too long. It's been quite some time before we found, uh, since we found a decent planet. There's basically nothing out there. We might find something down here. Alright. Skilled starship construction. You can't just put anyone in a spacesuit and get them to build things in orbit. It turns out that most people just don't understand what an orbit is. Some improved training programs should dramatically improve our orbital manufacturing capability. Alright. We now have the potential to build a zero-g construction, or zero-gravity construction. That would, uh... Actually, let us build things with medium-sized holes. Let's go for that. Actually, did that have any... I'm not sure what the Hyperion Shrinker is. Hmm. That would let us do the uh, Mining Headquarters. Although, to be perfectly honest, I still don't even know what any of the uh, Durantium, Illyrium, or Antimatter, I don't know what any of that actually does for us. Uh, terraforming. Oh, extreme colonization. Let's go for that instead. That's going to let us colonize some of these other ice planets that we've located. Is Earth already... F yeah, it looks like Earth has finished everything there is. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and plop down a couple of colony ships here. How many, uh... ice planets do we actually have? Well, I can't do that one. So I can colonize that one. And 
that one. I think that's actually it. So yeah, two colony ships should be all we can really use. Alright, we've got a new constructor. Mm. Say if we send it over here, we might be able to take advantage of all three of those uh, Durantium locations, maybe. Uh, it's somewhat questionable. But it is... Uh, I don't think we can quite pull that off. Anyways, we'll give it a shot. Up here we have some antimatter, Illyrium, all that good stuff that we can do. But, the other reason why I'm moving the colony ship down here, or the uh, constructor down here, is because it will help to uh, produce influence. And we can use influence to actually take over the uh, opposing races, uh, planets and such. Speed this along. Alright, so we have our new colony ship. Let's go ahead and... I believe we're going to send it right down here to that class 11 planet. By the time it gets there, we'll be able to colonize it. Mysterious hardware. Plus 25% towards extreme colonization. So we actually currently have that now. Extreme colonization. No longer are we limited to the low-hanging fruit of the galaxy's stock of planets. It won't be an easy life for anyone living in these new worlds, but it will be a life. All right. Um, we could potentially research Frozen World Mastery, but I'm not sure that that's... Uh, terribly useful to us at the moment. I don't know what the terraforming plant is going to do. Let's go ahead and do that anyways. Let's go ahead and advance our turn. Uh, after this, I think we may go ahead and switch back over to researching some military techs. Now this one here is going to go ahead and colonize that planet. And give us another nine, uh, class nine Earth like planet. And our shipyard is idle again. I think we're going to take another one of these cutters. Actually, make that two more of those. And we'll end our turn. <laughs> have five or four turns remaining for terraforming and we have an idle colony so we just finished the uh, soil enrichment there let's go ahead and build a research laboratory that might help a bit alright so they're beginning to explore some more locations here but uh... Doesn't look like they're actually finding anything terribly useful to us. It would be nice if we could actually begin colonizing some of these dead worlds. I believe that's what the uh, colonization or the terraforming tech is going to lead to eventually. I could be wrong about that. Alright, where's this idle ship? So we have our cutter. Let's go ahead and have him explore automatically. Those things are finishing in a whopping two turns. Alright, we've got an idle colony here. Let's go ahead and put in a coordination center right there. And I think a couple of research laboratories.
After that... Not sure what we want to do. How about a missionary center? And then perhaps some soil enrichment. That should be a good location. All right. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Looks like we have another new ship here. Oh no. This is actually our construction ship. He's going to build a star base. And very shortly we will be studying the ascension crystal and the antimatter. Come along now. Let's go ahead and manage that. And we're going to build a Xeno Archaeology Lab. We're going to take him and send him right there. And our shipyard is idle again. I suppose... We'll build a couple more constructors here. Our income is actually going down. We're going to need to start improving our income here soon. Alright, where's his idle ship? Let's go ahead and have him explore. Our prophecies foretold of this meeting, cousin. The mystery of our similar appearances may soon be unraveled. An interesting mystery. We look forward to revealing it with you. Alright, so... These guys actually have the same ideology as us. This is the Alteran Resistance. We are outside of their traveling range, so that gives us a bonus to our relations with them. Our military is still weaker than they are. Uh, but we have good skill in diplomacy. Man. The Iridium Corporation, they are, uh... Possibly gonna end up as a thorn in our side here. We need to go ahead and select our research. Terraforming is a tricky business. Delicately poised between making a world more habitable for us without destroying its entire biosphere to do so. And there aren't any do-overs. Alright. Environmental optimization. Agricultural adaptation. Population enhancement. Habitat improvement. Allows construction of advanced terraforming plants. I thought we already had terraforming. It unlocks habitat improvement, and it leads to soil reclamation. Huh. Tell you what, let's go for Xenocommerce. We're kind of looking like we're going to be in need of some increased income here shortly. Looks like we have an idle colony. Actually, there's nothing really that we can do there. Um, I suppose we'll go for a research project? I don't know. All right, so we got two turns on Xeno Commerce. Let's go ahead and speed that along. And we are now colonizing Titan 6-3. Animals to tame. The terrain of this planet has proven very challenging for our conventional ground vehicles to deal with. And some colonists have begun capturing and taming a hardy local species of marsupial to use for hopping around between buildings and colonies. The animals are well suited for the work and don't seem to be suffering 
But there have been a few accidents, and animal rights activists across the galaxy are demanding the practice be banned. What are your orders? This is shockingly primitive. Disrespectful of the inherent rights of the beasts have, and it looks a bit silly, too. End the practice at once. Any animals too tame to return to the wild can be kept as pets. Or we can say the animals aren't overly suffering. What's the harm? Allow the practice to continue, but at least begin monitoring and regulating it. That would give us a plus 10% of manufacturing. Would the animals work harder if they were suffering? See if we can find a way to make the animals suffer. Um, trying to decide between pragmatic and benevolent here. I like the 10% uh, manufacturing better than the 10% approval, but we are going to be benevolent towards our little animal friends, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and what does the terraforming plant do? Terraform one tile of decent quality. Okay, so that's just like the soil enhancement. It uh, salvages one tile. Ah, but the terraforming plant actually lets us uh, select an extra tile. Something that the soil enhancement can't necessarily take care of. Hmm, okay. Anyways, let's go for the basic factory. That's a floodplain. Ah, where do we want a basic factory? Okay, let's do the basic factory right there. Then we can do a Xeno farm right there. And plop down a research laboratory right there. That's a decent start. And we now have a new ideology choice here. So we've actually maxed out prominence. Um, what do we actually want to go for after this? Explorers, new colonists start with five extra... Is that five extra population or is that... I can't tell how many extra population that is. Each existing colony receives one additional tile. And that grants a class 16 planet. Plus 50% to morale. Morale plus 5. What is the elevation foundation? Oh! Elevation Foundation, that's actually not terribly bad. I probably should have actually gone for that a long time ago, to be perfectly honest. If I had it to do over again, I might would have gone for Elevated Level 2 before I had done anything else. 250 free research points, 500 free research points. Ah... Uh, Actually, this one, the Temple of Enlightenment, generates two benevolent ideology points per turn. Let's go for th that one. That uh, 150 free research points was basically crap. That didn't do much for us. But the uh, plus 10% research will be somewhat nice. The United Planets will be gathering in five turns. I suppose we may actually see how we are actually standing in the universe once that happens. It looks like the... Uh, what are these guys called? The Iridium Corporation. They appear to be doing quite freaking well. I don't know where the Alteran 
Ah, oh, that's the Alterans right there. There they are. Hmm. We might be well served if we were to, say, perhaps build a starbase right here and begin building some influence producing structures on it. We might be actually able to uh, take over some of these planets here and just through the use of our influence. I'm actually strongly considering that. Let's go ahead and send it right there. That'll work. And we need to select our research. We have Xeno Commerce now. Wealthy population plus 10% of gross income. Increased approval. Trade licenses maxed plus one. Influence plus 10%. That's uh. One thing that we're kind of working on. Diplomacy bonus plus one. Hmm. Tell you what, let's go for this uh, diplomacy bonus plus one. And we'll advance our turn. Debris field plus 39 credits. That's not bad. You can upgrade a starbase. What starbase is this? Deep Space Starbase 2. Um. Where is it? Okay, right here. So we need a mining starbase there now. Let's go ahead and build a mining ring. And now we are going to be taking advantage of the antimatter there. We have an idle colony. Producing a fair amount of food there. Let's go for... A market center. Maybe. That would give us plus 25 percent to our income. It's not exactly amazing, but let's do it. We are kind of in need of some income. Actually, that bumped up to five, so we're not doing quite as badly as we were. Let's go ahead and end our turn. We should have diplomatic reasoning after this next turn. That might help us with dealing with these uh, alien races. Okay, so that's the construction ship. It's not going to be able to take advantage of all of those. Ah. <sighs> Tell you what, let's go ahead and send it down here where I was going to send that other one. Forget about mining the uh, Durantium right now. We're just going to see if we can push the uh, influence boundaries that we have into this space. As our starbase will generate influence regardless of uh, any other considerations. I would like to have it close enough where it's going to actually affect Brindor as well, though. All right, diplomatic reasoning. We've begun stimulating different rhetorical, rhetorical and diplomatic approaches when dealing with aliens, revealing several ways we might improve their attitudes towards us. Our role-playing has enabled us to talk prettier, essentially. All right, so we could go with influential voice now. Cultural influence allows the construction of basic cultural buildings. 
Uh, let's do that. I think that's something that we can build on our star base is the information hub. And I think I'm going to pump out a couple more. Actually, let's pump out a couple freighters. There are two of them and another constructor. Let's go ahead and send that constructor down here. And end our turn. Lifting the fog. Plus 25% sensor range to all ships in our fleet. Okay, advance our turn. Actually, I think we should have cultural influence now. Set freighters homeworld. Okay, Earth will definitely be the homeworld. And can I command it to uh, trade? No. What if I send it over here to the Alterans? I'm not entirely sure how to use the freighters just yet. Let's go into diplomacy here. We still have a weaker military than they do. Uh, we have a weaker military than everyone, basically. But our skill in diplomacy is good. Let's see what we can... Uh... What is this? Power, population, wealth, up clout. I don't see that anything is actually changing as I click any of those. What does the United Planets do? The next meeting? Actually, that'll be next turn, I do believe. And... We have 14% of the vote, apparently. The Alterans are actually the weakest. That's not good, because they are the race that uh, has the same ideology as us. Ah, crap. I didn't want the designer. I want diplomacy. And let's speak to them. Let us see if we can come to a trade agreement. Okay, let's offer open borders. Crap, not that. Yes, open borders. I can't ask for open borders? Hmm. Well then, let's go ahead and offer them open borders in exchange for... Zero gravity construction... Interstellar logistics. I don't see that it's actually telling me anything that's going to give me a hint about whether or not they will accept the offer. Now, they do have some pretty nice ships, actually. They're, they have Cutter Mark VI. I've got all these gunboats and cutters, but mine are like Mark IV. 12-12, and there are... Actually, they've got some large-sized holes, too. 50 hit points with uh, 12 attack and 18 shields. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know that they're going to... I'm going to need a lot more than that to be interested. Okay. So it does tell us. Accelerated growth... Xenobiology? I can't accept this. Um. That's like 
seven turns worth of uh, stuff, and we were offering basically five turns. How about hyperdrive specialization, maybe? I don't know, perhaps. Well, actually, it doesn't even give me a chance to hit s yes or accept or anything. Uh, what if we offer 178 credits? Okay. Defensive fortifications. Now, see, we actually have some techs that uh, have pretty good, like, turn qualities, I guess you might say. Like, that takes six turns to build. Most of theirs is more like two turns. So... I might could trade, like, say, extreme colonization. Actually, I don't know that I want to do that. Um, terraforming. We'll offer terraforming in exchange for... Point defenses. Armor systems. Maybe planetary invasion, and we'll offer a few credits. So we'll gain three technologies there. Okay. Let's do. Environmental engineering and manufacturing. That's about seven turns worth in exchange for... What do we want? I don't know that they actually have anything that we terribly really want. Enhanced uh, training, maybe. I think defensive fortifications... Militarization and armor specialization, improved logistics. Let's do improved logistics. I wonder if I can try to get one more thing from them. Shield specialization, and let's see, for 95 credits. All right. Technologically, we're not looking that bad now. A lot of these are just two-turn, uh, two-turn technologies. Whereas a lot of those are three, four, six, 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 two, and three. That seems pretty good. But I would like to try to make some sort of a actual trade agreement. I guess we just have to send our uh, freighters into their space. Let's go ahead and choose our new research path. We have cultural influence. A strong cultural presence on our worlds and our neighbors has tremendous long-term potential. It lacks some of the visceral appeal of a new type of mass driver, but it may in the long run be far more effective at securing humanity's future. So that increases a planet's influence, the cultural center, the information hub. That is actually built on a star base. And it gives plus three influence growth.
Hummer specialization. Passionate representation. Efficient representation. Or self-sufficient representation. Hmm. Omega star based defenses. The star based defenses might be useful to us. But. Hmm. Soil reclamation, environmental optimization. Increases the, okay, that actually leads to extreme colonization. I thought I already have extreme colonization. I do. Let's do the fusion power plants, practical fusion. I have an idle ship now. That's our freighter. Uh, let's see if we can perhaps send the freighter down. Let's see if we can trade with uh, Six and Daxia there. I don't know if it's going to help us out to trade with our own planets or not. And we're now colonizing Lysandria. A sentient planet. Yes, yes, okay. So we're going to try to communicate with the plants. We've already seen this one before. Uh, all of the stories about about dirt and take forever to tell. Nevertheless, your researchers... Wait a second. That seems to be slightly different. Your scientists tell you that there's something strange about this planet. It talks to us, they explain. Now that's strange. Planets shouldn't do that. Although the planet seems disinterested in your day-to-day -day affairs, it may be possible to communicate with it further. What are your orders? You begin communicating with the planet, and it turns out that the planet is really boring, and all of its stories are about dirt, and take forever to tell. Nevertheless, your researchers manage to learn a lot about dirt. <laughs> so long as the planet's not bothering anyone, I can do it can do what it wants. In fact, let's see if we can find some way to turn this into a tourist attraction. Or... If this thing has been around for billions of years, it must know a lot. Threaten the planet with deep core mining unless it reveals its precious planetary secrets. Um... We're gonna take that benevolent approach. We're gonna learn a lot about dirt. And what is this? Paradise. That gives a bonus to approval. Hyperion Logistics System reduces the logistics cost of ships built on this planet. Hyperion Shrinker increases the hull capacity of ships manufactured on this planet. Ah. So we do have a few new options here. Entertainment Center, the Market Center... Helps defend against planetary invasions. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and start, I think, with just a basic factory. Then we'll go for a Xeno farm. And... Perhaps a research laboratory. Can we do... Okay, we can do soil enrichment right there. Instead of building the basic farm right there, let's go ahead and build the basic uh, factory right here. I said farm, I meant factory. We're going to do soil enhancement right there. And we're going to go ahead and build a uh, solar power plant right there. So that way we can build factories all around it and take advantage of the... Uh, the solar power plant there. And I think this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video here because we've probably 
gone on quite for some time here. So, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.